YouTube, it's Amanda G. Gogo, and it is October, woohoo, that means it's Halloween month, I'm really excited, um, this video is not going to be a tutorial, this is, I'm just going to be talking about this uh, costume and the makeup I'm going to be using under it on the day I wear the costume, which will be this weekend, um, the tutorial that I used to make this mask, um, I'm going to link in the down bar. It's a really good tutorial. I think her YouTube name is Bonnie Corbin SFX. I'm not sure. I was just uh, looking up videos and stumbled across hers and thought it was a really, really cool idea. Um, this is a like gory, fleshy masquerade mask. It almost reminds me of Bloody Face from American Horror Story Asylum, which is really cool in a disturbing way. I do not have the makeup on underneath that goes with this, but that is because I have to go to work in a few, so don't have time to put a bunch of scary makeup on my face and then wash it off. But I'm going to show what products I will be using the night of, and I will try to record the night of so you can see the costume in full. And I'm going to insert a picture in here somewhere to show off the dress I'm wearing. The dress is just some like prom, bridal type of dress I found at Goodwill. It was probably like five dollars, which is amazing because it's a gorgeous dress, and now I have an excuse to wear it. Uh, uh, the mask, I just followed her tutorial exactly to make this. It's got staples all along the edges. They're latex and spirit gummed in there, and I have poorly drawn on eyebrows. <laughs> etc. Uh, for the stick, I just used the stick I found in the yard because I thought that looked really cool. A lot cooler than using a regular masquerade stick. I kind of put my own twist on it, but at the same time I tried to keep it close to her tutorial. Um, what I'm going to be applying underneath, which uh, if you haven't paused this video to go watch the tutorial, then uh, the effect is once you remove this, you have like this blood gore going around your eyes where the mask would be to make it appear that this was your skin and it was ripped off your face to be turned into a masquerade mask and so what I plan to be doing the night of which I just have my little travel makeup kit um, I'm not going to take my big zombie box if anyone's seen in videos past that I usually have um, because I'm going to be going to multiple things that night, so I won't have time to do crazy makeup. So what I am going to do is I just threw in three different types of blood. Um, I'll probably mostly be using this blood gel. It's a lot thicker and it dries faster, but still looks like it's wet. It doesn't make as big of a mess. I may add some of this, but it's going to be going, of course, around here. Um, I have liquid latex thrown in here, but that's strictly only for if something on my mask were to mess up that night before the party. I have toilet paper, which I was considering using with the liquid latex to maybe put like a border on here to make the skin kind of 3D and chunky and gross looking. I also have some red cream. Yeah, this is cream makeup and black cream makeup, which once again is just going to be Blend it in, in here to make it look as nasty as possible. <laughs> I have, this is actually like glittery, shimmery eyeshadow, but I'm just going to kind of apply it to me so that way I can be glittery. And then of course I have your basic sponges and applicators and my wax palette in case I need to mix up anything, which I shouldn't need to. I also have a liquid eyeliner and a mascara. Since you can see my eyes through the mask, I'm going to do a little bit of like beauty type eye makeup and I'm going to do my lips. I have this lip gloss and I'm going to get like a reddish lip stain to wear. And then I have this. I may do some sort of eyeshadow, but I'm considering maybe just making that gory as well. I'm not, not really sure. And of course the eyebrows, I'm going to have to either block those out or just apply makeup really well to it so you can't really see them since obviously 
Your eyebrows are on the mask that was ripped off of your face and turned into a mask. They're not here, so I need to find a way to conceal these a little better. Which will be a bit more of a challenge for me because my eyebrows are naturally darker. Um, if you were graced with blonde eyebrows, this shouldn't be a problem, though fake blood might stain your eyebrows some. Uh, that's about all for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was a really quick, really unscripted, impromptu video, but I just kind of wanted to show off the idea for this costume because I think it is an awesome costume and this is a very good one for kind of a last minute thing. I was able to make this in maybe an hour's time and I already had the dress. Um, <laughs> this party I'm going to snuck up on me and so I have not had time to prepare and make a crazy intricate costume like my Daft Punk one I did last year. So I decided to go with this because I knew I could throw it together really quickly and it would still look good. The makeup is very simple to do. So yeah, that is my costume. Go check out that girl's tutorial. She's She does a really good job explaining it. There's a million other tutorials online on how to do it and I'm still not sure who the original artist is that did like came up with this idea but whoever you are you are a genius and that is awesome so I'm gonna go now bye guys and happy Halloween month really well to it so you can